So it is Kivuli. Hello, students. I'm going to be going over chapter six of book one of Caesar. I'm going to be following along in the book as well, trying to use some of the notes that are there, um, kind of referencing to some of the notes I made as well. Um, the first part is erunt, which is our verb here, and that's there, were. Omnino. This word is from omnis, which is all, and this is an adverb. This could mean... Um, I like to say all in all because um, I think omnis, um, but entire or only. There are all in all. Duo itinera. This is our nominative. Two routes, two journeys. And this is in reference to what the Helvetians can, can use in order to get to where they need to go. There are only two journeys. Uh, quibus itineribus. Um, this is really interesting because he repeats the word that quibus is referring to here. Um, and this is a. Uh, I guess an ablet of a place where, I guess you could say, or ablet of a specification. Uh, I don't know if the book tells us, does it? Um, on which journeys, posent, here's our relative clause verb, they were able to exit, this is a complementary infinitive. Where domo is this ablet of separation. What that means is you need to add the word X from out of their homes. So they were able to leave from their homes from on which of these journeys. One, una, this is nominative, this is in reference to one of the journeys, per sequanos, through the sequanians, angustum et difficile. These are also nominatives. Narrow and difficult. Between inter, I'll put a BW, between Montem Jura, the Jura Mountain, and the Rodon Flumen. These all go together. Wix, adverb, this adverb describes Duke Rentor. Duke Rentor. On which, or by which, by which way, um, I'll put this is an ablative of manner. By which way, singuli cari, this is our nominative, carts or wagons. Singuli is another nominative. This is an adjective that means one at a time, or singular, or uh, single file, carts. Ducarentor is this verb here in this relative clause, and this is passive and it's subjunctive. This is a passive relative clause, they, that by which way hardly uh, a cart one at a time were led. In other words, they can only take one cart at a time through this area. Mons autem altissimus impedivant. Um, however, the altissimus, this is the highest, this is a superlative, the Isimus is how I know. Mons, nominative. The highest mountain was impeding or was hanging over. In other words, they had, to, they had this giant mountain they got across. Remember, this is right near the Alps, so uh, this area is pretty mountainous. Result clause, that as a result, per pauci prohibere posent facile. Uh, very few are uh, easily able to... Um, to prohibit um, them. Uh, here we got our nominative pair pauki. Uh, pair pauki is very few. As a noun, very few. Uh, our subjunctive or posent were able to prohibit them easily. Uh, here's our infinitive. Prohibere, uh, to keep them, to prevent them easily. Uh, add. Altrum per provincium nostrum, multo facilius aque expedi expeditius propteria quod inter fines alvetiorum et alum brogan. Um, and then I'm going to stop right here. That'll be helpful. Alterum, and the other, the second, uh, where, oh yeah, my bad. The second, this is nominative as well, it's describing the journey, a journey. Per pro inkium nostrum, through our province. And that's the province of Gaul. Adverb multo by much. 
I think that's what the book has here. Average degree of difference. Um, oh yeah, by much easier. These are comparatives and more expeditious, or in other words, more unimpeded. Those are comparatives. Because, propteria quote is because, those together. Interfenis hoetiorum et aleprogo. These are genitives. It's between the borders of the Helvetians and these guys called the albroges. Who, and this is the als, new pair recently, this is a passive, pluperfect, had been pacified recently. So this, they just found out that the Romans just now conquered those Allobroges people. Okay, I had to add that last part because there's a break here in the page. Uh, Rodon is fluid. The road flows um, here. We could probably add. Um, I'm trying to see if the book tells us anything about that. Not really. Um, so the Rodonis River flows. That's what this verb is, main verb. That's our nominative. And isque, is is referring to the Rodonis River. That means it. Um, even though is is the pronoun for he, she, it, it's for masculine words. So it, no nulli loci suado transitor. This is our next main verb, and it's passive. It is crossed. And then nonuli is this word that tells us a very few, uh, this is nonulis, uh, these are ablatives of place where, nonulis locus, ablative of a place where, because guess what, locus is a place, it means it's this, this um, in very few places it is crossed how this ablative of means, by means of waiting, in other words, uh, like, Wading through a river, just crossing. Extremum opidum alabrogum est proximum quae helvetiora pedibus genewa. I'm going to put some commas here to make it a little bit easier to remember this. But the furthest town, the nominative, this is describing our subject here, the verb. This is genitive. The furthest town of the alabroges est genewa. It's Geneva. Proximum helvetiorum. Closest to the, uh, this is a dative, to the boundaries. Uh, don't think the book puts anything there. Yeah, this is a dative, a place where, uh, like odd plus an accusative. So this is nominative closest to the boundaries of the Helvetians. Ex eo opido pons ad helvetios pertinent. Pons is their next subject. Because ex aos from this town, a bridge extends. This is a version of pertinent that means extends, extends to the Helvetians. Ad Helvetios. Alabrogi was say say well per suasuros quo non dum bono animo populum romanum virentur existamabant. Well, we coopturus ut. Per suos fines eos ere paterentur. This is our main verb here, existemabant. And I know this because alabrogibus is dative. Se se is a weird word that can't be nominative. Well means either persuasuros. This is a future active participle. I know by just looking a food at part. Quote nondum. I see this vidorentur, but this is in commas, so I know that this is in our main verb. It's broken up into a separate clause, so this is existimabant. They existimabant, they uh, considered, they thought that this is going to introduce indirect statement. we got to get really, really good at these because there's so many that come up. They were thinking that they, this is our accusative subject, either will persuade, this is our dative, with persuasuros. This is actually a infinitive. We're missing the word essay. So that they will either persuade the alabroges because nondum bonum animum populum romanum viderentor. Nondum 
is uh, the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. Not yet. Uh, or still. Not yet. And not yet, they seem, uh, they are seen. This is passive. Uh, I'm just going to put the word seem because seem with an M is the passive form of to see. So, and not yet they seem in good mind, in good spirit. Um, this is an ablet of respect, uh, or ablet of quality, excuse me, the quality of them, or description. Um, and they seem, because they don't seem yet in good mind to the Roman people. In, into the Roman people, or in Romanum Popolo, toward the Roman people. You might want to use toward. The book even says, not yet well dispossessed or friendly toward the Roman people. That's what they thought. Or, well is either dot dot dot, or. Or, they will, this is our future active infinitive, without the essay, or they will force them by strength. This is our ablative of means. Ut, so that, perps false. Per suos finis eos ire paterentor, that they, um, so that they will be allowed, this is passive, or no, that they are allowed. Um, sorry, it's not passive. Um, that they allow, this is our active subjunctive verb here, that they allow them, this is the Helvetians, this is accusative, they allow them to go per eos, or per suos finis, through their boundaries, through their borders. Because the Helvetians need to get to, uh, they have to cross that bridge that's located in Genoa, that way they can continue on their journey through the easy way, not the hard way. And we get into this next, last portion here. Omnibus rebus a perfectionum comparatis diem decunt. Omnibus rebus and comparatis make an ablative of absolute phrase. Comparatis is the uh, PPP of comparo, which is to prepare. I'm going to put PPP here. So, with all things having been prepared, they say the day, or they declare, sermon verb, the day, to set out, ad perfectionum, to depart. Quadie, on which day, a little bit of time, I guess you could say, I'll put a T. On which day they conveniant, they uh, convene, they meet together, they all meet together. This is our nominative. Ad uh, ripam Rodani, at the riverbank of the Rodanus River. So remember, this has been three years in the making. They all meet up right at that riverbank, ready to cross. Is die sera ante diem quinque calendis aprilis uh, this day, east die is nominative, era was the 28th of April. Or not April, March, my bad. Because this is five days before the first day of April. In other words, March 28th. In the year, this ablative of absolute, you have to remember that these phrases, like we saw in the first chapter, these are ablative absolutes with the consulship. Um, during the consulship of Lucius Piso, Piso and uh, whatever his name was, Aulus Gepinius, whatever. And that would be chapter 6. 